In this demo, we'll be walking through how to set up your Linux machine in order for you to be able to run and execute a JavaScript program. We'll be looking at the browsers, we'll be looking at the developer tools within Chrome, we'll be looking at gedit, and lastly, we'll be creating the simple program with all these tools. Now, the reason why I decided to use Linux this time is because I'm using Ubuntu 15.04. Uh, this could possibly work with different versions of Linux, just depending on what distribution you're on. So let's go over to my Ubuntu box and let's get started. Here I am in my Ubuntu machine here, and if you don't have Chrome installed, I have provided a link below this video, which you can actually go and get the file in order for you to install Chrome on your Ubuntu machine. Now, the reason why I went with Chrome compared to other browsers such as Firefox or Midori, I'll give a more detailed instructions below this video as well. So if you're interested more in the debate of what browser to use and what other browser not to use, but I have gone with Chrome. I think Chrome is a great browser and I will be walking you through how to use the developer Chrome tools in Chrome today. So first thing up is we wanna go ahead and open up Chrome. So I'm gonna go look for it here. Here's Chrome. And you'll get a similar window to this one here. And I wanna actually open up a new tab so we can get an empty window here. And there's, there's three ways you can access the developer Chrome tools within Chrome. And the, the, I'm going to show you the probably the easiest way to do it, which is if you right click anywhere on the page and you click inspect, and this brings up the developer Chrome tools. Now the tool that we're most interested in is called the console. And the console allows us to display a message from our JavaScript program. So now that we know how to access the, the console, let's look at the other ways that we can actually open it up. If you go to the menu tab and you go into more tools and you select developer tools, this will also pull up the console as well. And lastly, the last option you can do is by doing control shift I, and this will pull up the console as well. So those are the three ways you can access the developer Chrome tools. Lastly, you can actually position this pane in different positions in the bottom, on the right side, and outside. So you can position this window within that window in different positions. And that's all there is to the developer Chrome console tool. So let's go ahead and see if we can create a pro small program with gedit now. I'm gonna minimize this, go into here, and I'm gonna look for gedit. Now here's the gedit program. And before you get started running your programs, you wanna make sure that you do a couple of preference changes here. So I'm gonna go into edit, preferences and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to display the line numbers just because I like to see the line numbers and kind of gives me a good idea of kind of where I'm at. And lastly, you can optionally have more uh, plugins here. So if you're interested in plugins, you can go through here and find those plugins. And that's all there is to uh, setting up the gedit preferences. So now that we have uh, gedit here configured, I actually want to go ahead and just create a small app um, that we can write in some JavaScript code on. Uh, so we need to create two different files. We need to create the app.html file and the app.js file. And what the HTML file will allow us to do is allow us to call that script file and let Chrome know about our script that's going to be running our JavaScript. So first up, let's create this file. So I'm going to create a new file here. And I'm gonna save this one. And I wanna save it to my desktop, sure. I'm gonna create a new folder, and I'm gonna call this app. And then inside this folder, I'm gonna go in here and say app.html, save that. And I'm gonna go back over here into the other document, save that document, and I'm gonna call app.js. Now I have those two files, now I'm, now this file, the app.html file, needs to know about the app.js file. And the way we do this is with HTML. You do not need to know HTML in order for you to program in JavaScript, but since we're using the browser to execute JavaScript code, we do need to insert just one tag. And that tag is the script tag. And it is a type, and it is a type of text, JavaScript. And the source for this script is gonna be the app.js file. We're going to go ahead and close this out like that. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I'm going to go over to my app.js file and I need to actually start programming. So here's where you would actually write your program, uh, all the logic, all, all, 
everything that your program involves, you will start here in an app.js file. Obviously, you can have more different files, and if you have more files, you can include those into the HTML file. So let's go ahead and just, just write a simple, the simplest program. So let's just display a message to the console. And let's say, hello world. Save this. Nice. So now we actually have created our program. Uh, now we can actually execute this program. So I'm going to go into this app folder and here's the app, the HTML, and I want to click open with Chrome. And here's Chrome. And as you can see, we got a blank window, which is what we were expected. If you go on your keyboard and you do control shift I, this opens up the console tools. So as you can see at the bottom, you, we have a message that says, hello world. Now we just have executed our program using the Chrome browser. So that's all there is to developing JavaScript applications using Ubuntu with Chrome.